Navia Nana nah, Gray. What's going on? <laughs> What's up? Nothing, man. Nothing, man. You tell me. I, I'm, I'm seeing some good things on uh, on Facebook that you posted. Yes. Yes. I am finally going to the lease side of trucking. Uh-huh. Um, I'm excited but nervous at the same time. But, you know, I feel like everything's happening all at the right time for me. So, well, well, now I'm about to get back on the road. Well, let's let's uh, let's let's rewind this all the way back. Let's rewind this. Let's take let's let's take this back, man. Where, um, when when did we first when when did we first meet? Like where where uh Ooh. when when did we first meet? Was it back in eighteen? It had to be eighteen. Yeah, yeah, eighteen. All right. So we we uh we initially met in the uh. In the face, Zello? In, in Zello, yeah, we we initially met in Zello and uh, trucker kings and queens before Steve yeah. uh, <laughs> before Steve changed it over to uh, B uh, B what is it B C H? Yeah. Have yeah. you have have you uh, been in contact with any of them guys in there? Um, I don't re really remember everybody that was in there, but I've been in contact with a lot of people from Zello, like a lot of. Hold on, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't hear you. Talk, talk, talk into your phone. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Talk, talk into your phone okay. so I can get good audio. Go ahead. Um, I don't know exactly who you know, but I'm still in contact with a lot of people. Fellow, but I don't know, like you know, Gigi Stoney. Huh? Don't you know Gigi? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Gigi, old girl. Um. Yeah, Gigi. I, you know I just, the normal. Yeah, I, I talked to Gigi. Uh, she came on and uh, chopped it up with me. Uh, maybe about a month, maybe about a month back, and uh, that's that's why I heard of the of the of the, of the tragedy of uh, of Young Trucker. So okay. you know, I sent out my I sent out my condolences to uh, to old girl. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we we didn't go into too much detail of what you know what happened, especially well behind the scenes we did, but you know we we ain't we ain't talk about it uh, on the show because I wanted to you know I wanted to be respectful to uh, right. to to old girl just in case she want to come on and and uh, and and talk to me, but uh, right, but yeah, man, uh, everybody in Zello. Uh, um, you know, big country. You you know he passed. Uh, yeah, I know that one was hurtful. Yeah, he 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 yeah. was a he, he was a big thing. He was a bit standing in Zello. Uh, yeah. Of course, Stephen B. Uh, Lawrence, uh, uh, the cup, uh, the Carolina boys. Um, you know, Jay Vizzy. Um, Most of them I'm friends with on Facebook. So if I don't talk to them, we do like see each other post and stuff on Facebook. Well, you know, uh, after you know, after we kind of like fell off from the from the Zello, we we kind of like we we kind of like you know stayed in contact with each other on right. Facebook. Um, yeah. You know, I you you sent me a link to the the to the truckers uh vacation page y'all y'all still doing that or or what what's, no what's... no that's on pause right now on hold i don't know if it's gonna bring it back up or you know what i don't know what we're gonna do with that the moment i don't know all right so how long how, how long has it been since uh, how long have you been driving all together four years all together four, four. long years <laughs> and i i know one of the i know one of the companies and i tried to you know, I tried to get in contact with you for all this time to ask you how was your experience at J and R Shrugal after I brought you on. Oh, uh, how was my friend? I love J and R Shrugal. Mm. Um, what? I did. You? I actually did, and I think it's because of the fleet manager, like the fleet manager, or, or fleet manager, dispatch, whatever you want to call them. They are very. They don't understand. They play a very important role, mm -hmm. and but you no, know, because that that relationship alone is. What drives like to keep going? And talk, my talk, 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 talk into your phone. Are, are you on your headset? Oh, you can't hear me. No, are no. You, oh, okay, okay, okay. Are you no, I'm not on the headset. You, what you got? An iPhone? 
You got an iPhone. Yes, don't I you? do. Yes, I do. Man, you, uh -huh. need to, you, you need to. You, you need to take your left hand, raise down the window, put that phone Whatever. in your right hand, and throw it out the window. That's what you need to do. But go ahead. First go of all, ahead. I'm still laid up in the hotel right now. But um, um, oh, Jay like and the Arshwood. Yeah, the the, <laughs> the free manager that I had, he was amazing. Like communication, mm -hmm. he like. I was in one situation, like a hard situation where I didn't want to take the load where it was going, but he talked me, you know, he talked me into it, and I do appreciate it because I gained more experience as far as like when to drive and go, whatever. And um, it was I don't find nothing wrong with that company, but I just got tired of being on the road. Like, what? Like, you you know me I mean you know while I was at JNR Swoogle because you know I I promoted them if it wasn't for me they wouldn't have been nowhere on the social media map but right. I, I brought in hella people including you you know I brought you mm -hmm. in as well um, but you said yo your time there was 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 gravy because of, because of the fleet managers right yeah yeah then, see, well I, because of it's my fleet manager. I can't speak for all of them. But yeah, mine. yeah. Like I said, it, after after my initial fleet manager had left, I, you know, I end up with a with, with garbage afterwards. So you right. know, my my time there was my time there was short, and you know, I went on ahead and left. But I see that they hooked you up with a with a with a couple of trucks while you was there why, oh yeah <laughs> why you why why you uh why you left uh i left because i wanted to go home i wanted to i was on the road for two years i then went to 45 states or whatever you know doing you know working for them i visit you know multiple states but um like i said it was a it was a great company so it had nothing to do with that company it had everything to do with me wanting to go home. Like, because at that time, I was already on the road, OCR. I was like, I've seen everything, but I'm ready to go home and do some local work. So that was all big time. Okay. Okay. That's what's yeah. up. That's what's up, man. So uh, <laughs> since you left and you, you know, you went home and you took time, how, how long? You, you've been driving all together for four years, but how yeah. long? How, how long? Because you just, what, what, what you just do? You just got back into trucking or what you was doing in the meantime i was trucking when i went home i was local uh, oh, okay. i was hauling third party i was working for months and i was on the bed and, uh, and um so i go to pennsylvania maryland delaware where i go down to north carolina south carolina and i was back home every night and so i did that for a year and a half year and some change i did that and then I took two months off the tr uh, off the truck, you know, just to totally focus on my family, my friends. And then down here I am, about to be back on the road. <laughs> so. Okay, yeah. okay. So where 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 are you from, Nana? Where are you from as initially? Richmond, Virginia. Are you are now? Are you still living in Richmond, Virginia, or are you you living somewhere else now? No, I'm still in Richmond, Virginia, but I'm looking to relocate somewhere else. Just don't know where yet. Down, down south, down Georgia. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Georgia because all my friends Whatever, keep telling man. me to all, Yeah, all your friends <laughs> is in Georgia. Yes, and I, a couple of them just moved to Georgia, so they like uh, some of my close friends. Like, come on, come on down to Georgia. But I mean, I just my sister just had a baby. So my nephew, wait, 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 wait. Who who just sister. had a baby? My sister. Oh, my okay, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, you know, that's, he might be holding me a little longer in Virginia. Oh, okay. Um, speaking of, uh, speaking of sister truckers, you know, like, it's like, like you say, you mentioned a few, uh, you mentioned Gigi, you mentioned, uh, old girl, old girl uh, Zay, yeah. Zay is, Zay, is, yeah. is she still trucking by the way? Oh yeah. She's still trucking. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I saw okay. her day. That's my best friend. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I yeah, I see the I, I see the comments between the two of y'all in the yeah. in, in, in the in the Facebook man. Uh, yeah. Man, so have you have you been back on Zello as of late, or you you pretty much left Zello? No, alone? I left Zello long. I mean, I got on there a couple months ago, but that's only because they were talking about taking a trip, mm -hmm. and so it's like I was on there for two days, and then I was like, nah, this ain't for me. Like no more. So I just haven't back. Don't plan on going back. Have you? Have you? Have you? Uh, talked to Stephen B? No, mm -mm. not in a couple couple months. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, uh, he reached. Actually, he reached out to me. Uh, I think last year via uh, via um, Cash App. You know, he sent me. A, you know, he sent me a little support. I think I did something. Mm-hmm. I, I think I did something. I forgot what it was. But uh, but yeah, I still you know I still send them a shout out you know every now and then every time I you know talk to somebody from the group we always yeah you know, because Stephen, Stephen B love. yeah Stephen B is 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 I, I gotta I gotta admit for a young guy he's still a goat. <laughs> <laughs> why still, you say that though? <laughs> uh, yeah. Why you say that? Why why I say that? Because he's the goat yeah. when it comes to trucking, man. As 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 young as he is, I, I, I if I'm not mistaken, at the time, I if I'm not mistaken, he was in his what thirties or something like that, and all mm-hmm. and already a owner op and already v- with vast knowledge of trucking. You know, he was the yeah. one that helped it. Uh, old girl and 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 young trucker transition from. Yeah from you know being company drivers into you know being owner operators right yeah so, Stephen B is definitely love. like he just give out like positive energy like i met him one time in, um at the truck show mm-hmm. and he was just he was shy though he ain't like the regular TV of you know what you see on zello mm-hmm. but in person you know he, like i said his vibe is just it's so cute and so shy all right. So, so speaking of uh, speaking of truck shows, are are you going to go to the uh, she trucking event uh, in September? Are you hip to it? Uh, I don't have a lot of information, but I am a part of her group on Facebook, mm-hmm. so I can definitely go on there and you know see what it is. It, it, it all depends on how things line up for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, hope I you met Saray though. I met Saray in person. I, I and, hope you, and I bought uh, a couple of her merchandise. So I hope you're able yeah. to make it. Uh, she wants me to yeah. be there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to be there. I'm going to try. Uh, mm-hmm. The company, the company that I drive for right now, you know, they, you know, everything starts and ends at at the terminal. So you know, it's kind of uh-huh. hard to actually turn around and tell them and be like, "Yo, I need to be in Chattanooga, Tennessee, on a certain day," without giving them ample, ample. Amicable notice, if you know what I mean. Right. So, yeah. But yeah, man. So let's let's talk about you moving into uh into the lease <laughs> side. Is, is is that a the picture? Was that a picture of yours? Is that a prime truck? It is a prime truck. Oh it my is. god! Why? Yeah. Why did you? Now let me ask you this because all I, I talked to uh the recruiter from Prime that will be coming up very shortly. Out of mm-hmm. all out of all the years that you that you that you drove, why did you choose Prime for for a lease opportunity? Um, it's a couple of reasons why I chose Prime. One is I know more than ten people, like more than I can count my hands, mm-hmm. who have went to Prime, who have gotten into the leasing part. You know, it's some that was very successful, like super fucking successful. Oh, excuse my language, super mm-hmm. successful. Then you have some who, because of them, you know, one. You know, oh, I'd be okay with going to where they fail and they was, you know, they love, but they were begging to come back. Like, they want to come back. And then, mm-hmm. to me, me being new, I really didn't want to go into me just automatically buying my truck and getting out there under my own authority. I wanted to come somewhere where I know for a fact that's going to be everything that I need to know. And it's a walk away. If, you know, if I decide, like, hey, time is not for me, you know, this thing ain't for me, I can walk away with no penalty at all. You know what I'm saying? But I want to be back as much money as I can, learn everything that I need to learn, especially from a company where I can just turn back and suck while I have a page for it. So what did they so when you when you called up Prime and you talked to the recruiter there, who who was the recruiter that you was talking to? You remember? Her name Ashley, but I don't know her last name. Oh, okay. Ashley. Shout out to yeah. Ashley. So Shout out with, to Ashley. With, with Ash with with you talking to Ashley, you you mm-hmm. just pretty much went in there and say, "Yo, I, 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 I automatically want to just jump on the lease side." And y'all ain't, y'all ain't talk nothing about, uh, nothing about, you know, the, uh, the, the company being a company driver. You just jump right into talking about the lease. So, with that said, uh, what was, what's, what was their offering for a lease driver? Um, uh, lease driver seventy, seventy-two percent of the load. Mm-hmm. Um. 
truck payment is well, my truck payment is ten eighty nine a week wow. or whatever. Is uh, that for yeah. a brand? Okay. Is that for a brand new truck or or what? Oh yeah, baby, a twenty twenty two Freightliner. So. Oh, okay, and it's yeah, ten. And it's what ten. What high. now? <laughs> it's ten eighty nine. Is that is that including? Um, is that including? Um, fees, licenses, and stuff like that? No, that's not, no. Mm -mm. So it's a little, that's so the truck about. payment by itself is 1080, but it's, 1089, but right. it's also a little bit more uh, a, a week. That's a little bit more. It's like $100 a week, you know, for the extra stuff to come out. They don't take it out a lump sum. Mm -hmm. they, divide, they split it up, you know, week. They just pay them for stuff. So what else during the conversation that 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 you guys had i mean you know that that pretty much enticed you even more in the in the choosing prime for a uh, lease opportunity uh -huh. another thing that really kind of got me was that the fact that you can i guess after a certain amount of time you can design your truck how you want it like right. as far as like the decals and stuff on the outside um that's something that got me own stuff got me um, and like I said, it's just uh, the biggest part of it all is seeing people that I actually know um, get into it and they're successful. Like, so, nothing about crime. About. Now, it's one thing the, the speed limit, I mean, you know, the speed and the truck goes, that's one thing. But other than that, they don't complain about it. So, like, why not? If you're not losing nothing at the end of the day, why not? Go so being that you was a a, a local driver uh, in Virginia okay, okay. for a while, how how was uh how, how was that experience? It was amazing, and it was amazing, but it's so much more harder than being an OTR driver. I mean, being local, it's like the time that you park that truck on a ten hour break is already started. You, you, you got to count in the time you got to drive home, you got to eat, you got to shower. You gotta get ready for the next day, and then plus you gotta be back at the truck before the ten hour break is up. Ooh. So you probably looking at about six hours worth of sleep, and that's it. Like that, it was it. It's all black. The time that you go home and you see my family every single day, that's the amazing part. And then, you know, sometimes when you start, a lot of people say, "Oh, you really don't have a life OTR." Mm -hmm. I would, say, you do have a life OTR. So you can get off the truck, you can so go to certain places, do whatever you want to do. At home, you can do the same thing, but you just have the luxury of driving your own car and being in the street that you're familiar with. So, all right, all it, right. it's hard though. It's hard as far as sleeping and and well, getting a proper on a. It's so much more hard to go All right, nah, 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 nah. So, yes. are you are you <laughs> at the are are you at the at the Prime Hotel now? When when will you start with them? Uh, I actually start tomorrow. Oh. Um, I've been at the Prime Hotel. Well, I'm not in Missouri. I'm in Pennsylvania. Um, Pennsylvania. Um, so I've been here since Sunday. And so, you know, I had to do an orientation, which was like a day. Mm -hmm. Then I had to set up my LLC and, you know, sign paperwork and pick out the truck, do inspection, get the Prime, truck together. Prime actually help you help you out. With with, uh, oh, yeah. with with the LLC with the, the EIN, with the EIN. The operating agreement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. now you now with this, you, you you're going into uh, everything is on your dime. Every everything is your responsibility. Your taxes, right. your your insurance, your health insurance, and all like that. So. Yep. Uh, again, you says uh, you're excited, but you're nervous at the same time. So you, yeah. I mean, <laughs> plus you, you, you rocked out for four years. So you, you really think you're ready? I know I'm ready, and the only reason why I say that is because how everything falls into place. You know, when it comes down to my name that I chose for my LLC, when it comes down to the color of my truck, and when it comes down to the support of my family, like right? that's the biggest thing. God is always number one, regardless. I'm gonna put that out. There. But my family, I feel like support from your family and your friends is very important. And you know, I know I don't have that type of support. But for me, I'm grateful that I was blessed that I was support because without them, I don't even think that I would have put you 
Are you now? I, I want to touch on you know. I I, I want to touch on your personal, but you um are you st- are are you the last time we spoke i think you was uh-huh. i think you was going out with a truck driver are you and him still together because you used to have him heavy on your facebook i don't want to know who you talking about I, it was some i don't I'm, know who you talking I'm about i'm sure it was some it was some guy uh i i i guess he was a truck driver i i don't know i i don't know maybe Maybe I just looked it too hard he, into it. <laughs> um, well, I actually been single for the past two and a half years. What? Really that. I don't know. Yeah. What? I don't know. <laughs> what? No. What? Yes. I mean, I've been dating. I've been dating out here, but I haven't been in a relationship. I can get in a relationship. Oh, no, no which way. Not. How yes. how 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 has it been for you uh trying to as a female truck driver and and try to hold down a hold down a relationship which 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 route would you rather take would you rather take a dude that's in trucking for a relationship or a dude that's out of trucking in a relationship uh, that's like a 50/50 thing right because i mean when this, when you trying to deal with somebody in the trucking industry what? Uh, uh, dealing with somebody out in trucking and, and dealing with somebody outside of trucking, it's kind of still hard because you know people can tell you anything. Um, I love the aspect of dealing with somebody in the trucking industry only because they do the same exact thing that I do. They understand what we got to go to sleep, or you know they understand if we be like, "Man, I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna take a nap." They don't get mad or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but also it could be where they have a family at home or they come to for double life. So one woman at home, one woman on the road. I don't, you know, you have, I'm not saying all men, but I have ran into some situations. Not my personal experience, but, you know, hearing people talk, they, I see it all the time. Mm. And on the other end, they, somebody at home is hard because they don't, they, like, they can say, oh, yeah, we got this, or, you know, they can comprehend certain things, but they really don't understand the life of a truck driver. So I think, like, if I meet somebody outside of the truck, I cool. If I meet somebody in the truck, I ain't cool. I just know the two process going through the date phase. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. Nah, nah, going with Prime Inc., man. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> that's, that's crazy. But, um... <laughs> But yeah, man, I, I appreciate you uh, giving me a call and uh, taking the time to uh, to uh, chop it up with me. You know what I'm saying? I really do, uh, really do appreciate it. Uh, what, uh, what, what, uh, what, 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 uh, what other stuff that you got uh, that you got planned now that you that you going uh, lace up with uh, <laughs> with Prime Inc. Well, what I have my mind on is um, you know running for them for a little bit. Well, running with them for a little bit mm-hmm. um and either moving the truck or i might jump out there and buy my own truck outside of prime and um you know become 100 percent under my own authority making more money but i just want to get back out here because like i said i've been gone for two years off the road so right i'm just looking to see everything again you know having an open mind because at first before i got into it i was like I only want to run from here to here. Like, I really don't want to go all 48. But, mm-hmm. you know, with everything that's going on and the way I think the support that I got, um, I just want to get out here and just see the U.S. again. Just get back and, at it know, again. Get uh, back at it, you know. All that's right. It. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, congratulations on uh, on getting out here, on the choices that you make. Hopefully, uh, hopefully everything goes good for you. Maybe you can come back Thank on you. in about – in about six months or so and uh and let us know how the uh how the program is still working out for you i definitely can do that you know i got your number locked in you know it's nothing but love between me and you oh yeah it's always a- always so cool. like i said we linked up uh actually we linked up twice we we linked up at the hotel when you came over to uh over to uh over to uh jnr Frugal over in columbus and mm-hmm. I think we uh when we first met, we first met at the uh in Indiana at the uh loves right there on Gary. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I forgot about yeah. that time. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I think we was uh, I think we was in the Zello group. We was talking, and I think I told you I was at the uh, Loves, and you wasn't that far from me. So yeah, you came over. We uh, met up, took the picture, and uh, and uh, and we yeah, had a good time. Right. We had a good time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully, you know, I run across you out here somewhere on the road. Uh, well, I tell you what, if you if you running down south or anywhere anywhere in Ohio, give me a call and let me know. I definitely got to. Thank you so You're much. You're very welcome. Out. You're very welcome. And again, congratulations. Uh, you know, a lot of people say. A lot of stuff about Prime, but it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, you know it. You know it works for some people, and some people it don't work for. You know what right. I'm saying? But I mean, after being in the person, like, yeah, I hear you. I comprehend what you're saying, but I can't take your word for it. You know what right. I'm saying? You got to see for even yourself. though you want successful, that means that don't mean I'm not going to be successful in it. You know what I'm saying? So, right, you got you know, to you got to see it for yourself. Right, you got to. So that's what I'm doing, and you know, it's the first company I'm trying. Hope well, I know it's gonna work out for the best. So. All right, I'm hey, uh, when you was coming in, when you was coming in for the lease uh, side, did you have to do everything that uh, everything in orientation, like road tests, backup, and all that other stuff, or no? Oh no! Nah. Well, what we did. The, so the road test you know normally a road test you get in the truck and go on the road with prime being that i'm i came in as an ac which is uh which is a driver who already got their tpl and that got experience um they road test was actually going to assimilate and the only thing i had to do was drive to a little small city you know and drive on the highway mm -hmm. but they get different type of scenarios to how you want to react um towards it and that's it that's all I had to do. I ain't had to do none of that. I ain't had to bump no dogs. I ain't had to do none of that. So. All right. That's what's up, man. All right. Well, Nana, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and let you go because I uh, see that you're going to have to get some sleep because you got a big day tomorrow. Um, yeah. Well, well, what, tomorrow? Saturday? I leave out tomorrow, yeah. Saturday? <laughs> yeah. You leave out Saturday? Yeah. Wow. Sure we do. All right. Well, you got a big day tomorrow, so I'll go ahead and let you go so you can get some rest because that's that's Thank what you. we need out here. And uh, yes, you stay do. safe, and uh, let's get back together in a couple of months and uh, talk to me then. I will do. Be safe out there. I will. I will. Take it easy now. All right. You too.